Let's get started. Today we will have an interesting battle challenge. But there is one thing. Um, what else does this mean? What are you talking about now? Is something wrong? We're not going to build a house out of glass? Yes, Mikey. You're right. Something happened. And now I'm going to show it to you. Just don't be scared, ever kid. Everything will be fine. This is a village that is not far from us. And now this village does not exist because the tsunami destroyed the village? Oh my god! I feel sorry for him! We'll never see him again! It's terrible! And what should we do about it? JJ, let's get started as soon as possible. But first we have to decide where and whose chest. So let's do it with roulette! Well, come on! Do it and let's determine which of us gets which chest! And I hope that this time I'll be lucky too! So, let's see what kind of chest I will have. And I hope that this time I will have good resources. Not... Look, I have the right chest. And this time it seems that I was lucky. Look into my chest. How do you like that? Hmm. Let's look at your resources. But now let's see what's in my chest. Are you ready for this? Well, let's see what's in your trunk. Oh my god! What kind of glass do you have that's so strong and cool? Why do our blocks differ again? I do not understand what the essence of this battle is! If initially, we will not hold this challenge in equal circumstances. Mikey, don't get upset. You're going to be fine. So let's start building as soon as possible. Because if we don't have time to build our shelter out of glass, then something really bad will happen. Is that what you want? Wait, do you also have diamond blocks? Are you kidding me? Is this some kind of prank or what? Why do I have, as always, some garbage again that won't save me from a tsunami in any way? And you have the best blocks in the world? Don't you think that this is strange? And that this shouldn't happen? I should have been lucky at least once in this life. Mikey, calm down and everything will be fine. You're just nervous. That's all. So let's not focus on this. I hope that everything will be fine with you and your glass bunker. So the main thing is not to get upset. And do not hope that someone will help you. I know that I will do everything to save my family. But you don't seem to really want that. So, come on. Get this over with as soon as possible. And build your bunker. You have no other choice. Either death or hope of salvation. So choose what is dearer to you. So, let's not tell me what to do now. Do you understand me? Or should I explain it to you in another way? I can see that you don't want to negotiate. But that's fine with me. But then don't complain when something goes missing from your bunker. And this is not even a threat. I'm just warning you. And I hope that you will understand this and not talk about any more nonsense. Okay? So, I decided I'm going to build a bunker. Although I can't believe that this bunker will be able to save me from something. So I'm just going to do what I have to do. And no one can stop me. So don't even try to do it. Okay? Then you can give up and not participate. But then you will die from the tsunami. Do you want this? Do you want your family to die? I thought you were at least a little noble. And it turns out that you are not even ready to try to save them. I did not expect this from you. Okay. You talked me into it. I won't give up. And I'm going to build a shelter glass for my family. And I'm going to make it. So... I would advise you to give up before it's too late, because you have no chance left. And I hope that you already understand that you have no chance at all, and you will still give me all your resources, okay? No, Mikey. Don't even think about it. So let's do something useful already. Or are you just going to stand there and do nothing? So, family, listen to me carefully. You and I will definitely survive, and I will do everything possible for this. But you have to help me with this. So don't just stand there and do something useful too. Do your best. Because judging by the video we watched, we have very little time. And we have to do it all before the tsunami hits. Okay. I'm going to pretend I didn't hear that. So I'm just going to do what I have to do. And I hope no one distracts me. We will have a chest made of diamond and iron blocks. So we will definitely be able to survive this tsunami. And in general, I hope that we will have time to build everything we wanted. We don't have much time. And something very terrible may happen. So one of you should keep an eye on the horizon and wait for a tsunami. You won't make it in time. So you don't have to try. I know that. 
because I have information when the tsunami will already be here. And I won't tell you this. So don't worry. I'll tell you right away that you didn't make it and don't even think about me saving you, okay? I hope that you understand that there will be nothing interesting here. I hope that you have heard me and will not waste your time. No, I don't believe you. You're trying to deceive me. And I hope everything will be fine. So let's calm down. You will deceive others. I hope that you understand that jokes are bad with me. And it may end badly for you. So let's have you build a shelter glass for yourself. And I will build a shelter chest for myself. And everyone will be happy. Only, something tells me that you have a chest. It won't even work. You'll build some kind of room out of dirt as usual. So don't upset me, because I'm already on edge. And I want my family to survive. Well, it's in vain that you don't want to believe me. I wanted what was best for you, but you refused to help. So then, don't say that I didn't warn you about the danger, and that you won't succeed. And don't even think about coming to my chest of refuge. Here you are. We're not happy because you're a traitor. Do you think I won't find out about it? I immediately realized that I had set it all up, already how many times. I was unlucky, and came across bad blocks and resources. And by a miracle, you always have all the best and most useful resources and blocks in your chest. Don't touch me. You won't succeed. You got what you deserve. So forget about what you just told me. In general, it would be better if you apologized. Because you can't behave the way you did. And it might end badly for you. But don't touch me. And don't come near me. Because I'm busy. And you're just bothering me. And I won't stand for it. So let's get this over with. I hope you heard me. And you won't do any more nonsense. Okay, this time I'll forget about you and give you time so that you can build something. But don't relax. Sooner or later I'll come back to you and then you won't be so funny anymore. So be prepared for this. But I won't tell you when it happens. I'm going to build a shelter for myself and my family, too. And I don't really care about you. So let's get this over with. I hope that you will understand for yourself that you are a loser and you are winning only because you have better resources than me. Let's not make excuses, because you're not good at it. Do something really useful. Like you said, build a decent shelter for your family for once. Or don't you value them at all? Of course, you will say that I am wrong. But I am watching the situation from the side. And it seems that I am right. Because you are not doing anything at all. And it will not work with this attitude to battles. But you have a chance to prove yourself and show that I was wrong but something tells me that you won't take this chance. But it means that I will be the winner and that suits me. So let's just keep doing what you're doing. So don't mention my family at all. You have no moral right to talk about them in that tone. You have your own family, so be kind. Keep an eye on them and don't get into my business. I'll figure it out without you. And you haven't seen what I've built yet. At least my chest looks like a chest because it's made of planks. And what have you built? Do you think that chests were once made of diamonds or iron? I also think not. So the victory will be mine. And you're just jealous of me. And I don't care about you. So let's get it over with. And I hope you've already realized that you were wrong. You've never even dreamed of this. You can never do this. Because only I of us understand it. And you don't. But I hope that sooner or later you will realize that you were wrong and still learn to think logically. And then you will understand that I am much cooler than you. Mikey, come on, don't pay any attention to me at all. And don't come to me, because I'm focused on my hideout right now. Alas, this mechanism will not help you in any way. Do not even think that it will somehow save you from a tsunami, because nothing can hold back the water except dirt. So I'm sure I'm going to win this time. I'm determined to win. And I hope that you understand this too. And you won't do any more nonsense. But most importantly, don't get upset. Because sooner or later, your entire diamond chest will be filled with water. And then it will be my turn to laugh at you. So don't come near me because I'm not in the best mood right now. Do you understand me?
I'm going to do the second floor for myself right now. So I'm not up to you right now. Do you understand me? So let's not get in my way now. I'd even say that now is the best chance to declare a truce so as not to interfere with each other. I think this is the best idea that could come to my mind. I hope you understand what I'm telling you now. So don't get distracted by any nonsense. And don't come to me. Because I won't forgive you if you decide to break something here. I tried. And I built it all. Not so that some green guy would come running and ruin everything for me here. So listen to me carefully. Get out of here. So that I don't see you here. Go to your trunk. And do all sorts of nonsense. Do you understand me? Oh no. How did you find me here? Please touch hit me. I don't want to die. I don't deserve this. Okay, I'll leave. But that's only because you have a diamond sword. So remember that I will always be there for you. And you better not do nonsense. Because sooner or later, you will be in trouble. And I hope that you understand me. For now, I'll let you build what you want. But sooner or later, something bad will happen. And I hope that you understand me. So, JJ, let's just do it without self-activity. So that nothing bad happens, you must not leave your glass. Mikey, tell me, why did you put so many of these blocks here? Don't you have anything to do at all? And why did you try to steal these blocks from me? For what? I don't understand what's wrong with you. But sooner or later, you will realize that you were wrong. And I wanted to tell you that you put crooked iron blocks on your chest. But I hope that you will improve and rebuild. Although this will not help you in any way. Because I don't like what I see at all. Mikey, let's make a deal with you. You won't bother me. And I won't bother you. And I hope that everything will be fine with you. Do you understand what I'm talking about or not? But if you don't understand, then I can explain it to you in a popular way. So don't even think about that you can beat me. Um, I'm not listening to you, and I don't need your criticism, so get out of here! Do you understand me? I understand, of course, the, that you are already in your trunk, but I would not advise you to leave there either, because I am tired of you. It's better to think about what I'm up to, but nothing will help you at all, and I understand that. And you just sit in your trunk and do nonsense, because it makes no sense, and you're going to die anyway. Do you understand me or not, JJ? You better tell me! Was it by any chance a joke that there will be a tsunami soon? We've been here long enough, but nothing has happened, and I don't like this. Did you cheat me for this battle? Um, Mikey, of course I understand everything, but why is your child in my bunker? Is this some kind of joke or what is it all about? I'm already tired of him, and I don't want any guards in my glass. So let's get this over with, because I've already won this battle. I think everyone is sure of it. And you're just doing some nonsense. And you can't even imagine what I've done in my glass. No one has seen this before. And I don't know when someone will be able to repeat what I did. But the main thing is not to get upset. Maybe you can survive. And then I'll show you my glass. Hey, what are you doing here? Come on, get away from here so that I don't see you. Because I'm tired of you. I don't know what to think about it anymore. Because you're doing some nonsense, and I hope that nothing like this will happen again. And I beg you, don't come to my chest. Otherwise, TNT will explode in your chest, and I won't tell you who did it. Of course, you can do something useful, but it won't make any sense. And I hope that you will remember this. If I hear again that you want to blow something up, then something bad will happen to you. And you don't want to know what I mean. So get out of here and don't even think about doing something bad to me or my bunker. I will protect myself, my shelter, and my family by all means. You must understand this. Wait, do you hear these sounds? What is it? Oh my god! Mikey, it's a tsunami! So you and I are in great danger. Did you even see it? Come on! Quickly lock yourself in your bunker and hope that everything will be okay with you. Do you understand me? Great, we'll be safe here. But why didn't Mikey say anything about what happened to him? JJ, if you can hear me, then we are in our bunker. But it seems that the roof will not withstand the second wave of the tsunami. Please do something to save us. We don't want to die. We don't deserve this. I hope you can hear me. Isn't that true? Okay, 
Mikey, if you can hear me, then try to live as long as possible, because I'm already going to save you, okay? So, we will all live. I hope that none of you will die by accident, because your bunker is very bad. So let's run after me as fast as possible, and then we will all live. I promise you this. You must understand this. JJ, is that you? I'm so glad you came for me, but where did this tunnel come from? Okay, I don't think it's important right now, so I think everything will be fine, and you know it too. I'm so glad that you made this tunnel, and such a good bunker, because if it wasn't for you, we wouldn't be talking right now. Mikey, I'm glad you're alive too. I knew something bad was going to happen. That's why I made this tunnel. But it seems that there is nothing left of your bunker. But don't get upset. There is enough space in my bunker for everyone. So guys, like and subscribe to our channel. Yes, you're right. There's nothing left of my bunker, but you won't have anything left of your bunker either.